Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Um, this is the third video in my nautical series and I hope that you will enjoy it. Um, so I have two of these um, stemless wine glasses and two of these, um, they're like stickers um, for your glasses, obviously, um, that I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, so I'm just going to take them out and um, I first started with the bottom piece um, and quickly realized that I should probably start with the top one um, so that I can be sure uh, everything fits okay. So I grab the top piece which is kind of like a border piece uh, and I uh, put that on and then I uh, pull off the anchor and try to center that as best I can um, and uh, yeah and then I take that last piece which is like um, three I think they're um, like steering wheels um, so I take those three and because there isn't enough room at the bottom um, I decide that I am going to cut that piece up and I end up putting uh, one on the back of the glass and one on the bottom of the glass. And then I just take uh, the second glass and I repeat the process with that one. So I've never used these stickers before and if you have, if you could just leave a comment down below if I should have done this or not. But I took the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge and I just put a coat over everything um, just to be sure that um, it won't come off. Um, I don't think I'm going to be using these to drink in, um, so maybe I shouldn't have done this. Um, but again, let me know um, if you guys have done this before and what has worked best for you. Um, but that is it for uh, this project. Um, I think they turned out really cute. Um, and like I said, I probably won't be drinking out of them. Um, I'll find something creative to do, maybe holding some um, paint brushes or markers or something, but they're pretty cute anyways. Let me know what you guys think. So for this second project, I am taking the uh, clothesline that I got at uh, Walmart and um, I am going to uh, just take um, a small piece and um, put some hot glue on it and just kind of fold it over on itself. Um, and then I kind of trim off the because it frays a little bit at the end. Um, and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to start wrapping it around itself. Um, and I do glue the entire thing and you got to pull it tight. Uh, otherwise, you'll have spacing in between um, the different layers of rope that you probably won't want. Um, so I just, like I said, continuously go around um, until I get the uh, desired diameter that I'm looking for.
And now I'm just going to repeat the process again here. Um, I do go ahead and end up making four of these, but I'm not going to put you through watching all four of them. Um, you get the general idea of what I'm going for here. And that's it for these. Um, they're my little coasters. I think they're so adorable. This is the clothesline that I bought at uh, Walmart. You get it in the hardware section. Um, but anyways, these are my little coasters. I think they're so adorable. Let me know what you guys think. I think I'm gonna be making many more of these. And then uh, for my last project here, um, so I started out uh, with one of the uh, vases and the uh, clothesline. And at first I tried to just use the hot glue, um, but that came off. So I ended up using um, the super glue gel from the Dollar Tree and I just went around the bottom of the uh, vase with the super glue and then from there I was able to just hot glue the um, the clothesline rope to itself um, as opposed to the glass. So for the smaller vase, I go around um, the vase five times with the clothesline rope. And then I take this um, jute, nautical jute rope. Um, and, and I got that at the Dollar Tree. Um, and I am just going to wrap this all around um, from start to finish. I don't bother, um, you know, counting how many um, times I go around because I know that I'm going to just use the entire rope.
And now that I finished with the nautical rope, um, I am going to go back with the clothesline rope um, and I am going to do another five um, wraps around the vase. And now I'm just taking the lighter to uh, singe off the, um, the stray hairs, I guess. <laughs> um, I've never done that before and I was a little nervous, but uh, it worked out okay. And now I'm just going to repeat the process with the larger vase. Um, I am starting with the super glue um, at the bottom. And I once I go around uh, the vase uh, one time, then I will use the hot glue again. Um, I do end up going around um, the larger vase eight times with the um with the clothesline rope uh, both on the bottom and the top of the nautical rope and again i don't count the loops on the nautical rope because i am going to use the entire thing
And then again, I'm just taking the lighter to get rid of those loose hairs. And now I am just going to take one of those large starfish and the large um, sand dollar and I am going to hot glue them on to uh, the rope. And now I'm taking um, some of those clear gems that I got from the Dollar Tree and I am putting um, a full bag in both and then I take half of another bag to top off the larger vase. And then I have some candles uh, that I got from Amazon. Um, I will link that below um, and I am going to use them to um, to put in the vases. And that is pretty much all there is to this one. I think these are my absolute favorites. I think they came out so gorgeous. Uh, let me know what you guys think. So I want to thank you for uh, watching this video. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I hope that you will consider doing so and hit that uh, bell so you'll be notified every time I load a video. Um, if you could hit that like button and leave me a comment and share, share, share with your family and friends, I would be forever grateful. Uh, thank you again, and I will see you next time. Bye.